We had a really interesting topic pop up this week thanks to the work of our education reporter Janet French. She discovered after much digging that class sizes in Alberta have been creeping up bit by bit year over year. Despite government spending of about three billion dollars over the years to reduce the size of classes, we still have high school students. They're supposed to have about 27 students per class on average, sometimes have 44, 45, 46 students in the class kindergarten. They should have about 17 students per class, sometimes have double that number. Well, parents are upset, teachers are upset, the government's saying it's doing all it can to address the problem, but strangely silent on this issue is Alberta's official opposition, the United Conservative Party. It hasn't really said much about this at all. It did issue a one-line statement today after being prodded by reporters saying basically the NDP spends a lot of money on health and education and doesn't really get very good results. Well, the UCP isn't attacking this issue for two big reasons. One is it goes back 20 years, back to when Ralph Klein was premier with the Progressive Conservatives. And he began spending hundreds of millions of dollars to address the issue and it never really was addressed. The NDP has inherited this problem. And so the UCP doesn't want to be attacking the Conservatives of yesterday. And the second reason is if the UCP did address this issue, the question would be, well, what would you do about it, UCP? And they have no real answer at this point. In fact, I imagine going forward in next year's election campaign, it'll be a campaign for the UCP focused on cutting spending, cutting taxes, cutting the deficit, and not on cutting the size of classrooms. I'm Graham Thompson with the Edmonton Journal.